Hi there, welcome to Banished. I'm Risen32 and we have another new series coming to the channel here. This is one that I'm quite excited and I've been quite excited for a while to play on the channel. I have like great nostalgia for this game and I'm sure everybody else does that is into the city building genre as well. So this first came out in like 2015 and it has aged so well. It's unbelievable. So we're going to start a modded series here. It's going to be quite, it's going to be a hard starting conditions. Disasters is going to be on. These are the settings here. We're going to go for a big map size. Hopefully we can utilize it. Um, as always, we're going to play in Ribtopia. We'll get you, get you in here. Awesome. Uh, map seed. I'll just spam that a few times. I'm not particularly worried about that. We'll put you in there. That's going to be awesome. That's the settings if you want to play along. I'll leave it there for a second. There you go. Cool. Right. So let's get into this. Now, what I'm going to like about this mod, it adds, there's a lot of changes to base gameplay here. So yeah, we, some of the mods I've used, some of them I haven't, which is what I really like, liked about the Mega Mod, is it's incorporated a lot of mods which I've never even thought to play with before. So this is going to be quite exciting, I hope. I think it will be, yeah. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So we're going to have to figure out to survive. I do know how we're going to do that. But yeah, like we're going to have to do things. Like we're going to have to smell ore into iron ingots before we can make... Tools at the blacksmith, cloth, clothing, clothing's going to be made differently as well. We're going to have to like go through a tanning process to make leather. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenge. Okay, right. Let's have a look around here, see what we've got going on. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We actually are. We're quite far from water. Okay, let's have a little look at the map. Uh, I'd like a map, please. Uh, we'll go big on this. That's one thing I like. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, this, you know, what? this makes for an interesting idea here. We could try and do have our city kind of like envelop the the lake here, you know, possibly. That's an idea, but I think we'll get the trader up this river, so that's not too much of a problem. So that should be good for us. Okay, cool. Right now, where are we starting? Oh, with that. Okay, let's close that map down. Right, so we can instantly, I'm going to see things are going to be a little bit challenging with this, but I am not against that. I think this is going to be quite fun in the spirit of things. Okay, right. Well, let's get some of our little overlays up. I tend to like you over here. We'll get our workers up as well. Uh, that's too big. <laughs> that's sad. I quite like this side. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put two builders on there straight away, as we will want them. And then, do I want the map? I take a little map. Just that's too big. Take this chap. Yeah, you're perfect. I'll just put you down there, just as a reference. There we go. That's te that tends to be how I like to keep things. So we're going to want to, as usual, start off and get the basics in here. Where's food? Food is there. So let's start off with a gatherer. And if we can get a gatherer, see, you can see. That's quite a waste on that gatherer's hut, I feel like. What about you? Oh, okay. That fits in there perfectly. Is that going to be enough to feed us long term? Probably not. And fish is going to be something that we're going to want pretty quickly. Okay. So we, we're probably going to want to try and push down this way quite early on is what I'm seeing from this. So a forest, a gatherer over here isn't a bad idea then. We'll place you into here. And what do we do? We do do that. Okay, good. Right, I'm just going to put this up there so I can see where you are. Then we're going to want a hunter. Now we don't need... We also don't need a hunter as big as you, do we? Tiny hunter. Okay. A little bit smaller. Nope. Aha. So that will be good. So we put you in here somewhere. Where are you? So you're... Must be this area here. Okay. So if I could put you almost like this. This is going to look like a nice little hunting area. That should be good for us, actually. So that's our hunter. We're going to want to produce some sort of... Well, maybe a forester in here would be a good idea, actually. We don't have to produce that straight away. Oh, I should have kept you open. So what can we do in the foresters? Can we get a village forester? I mean, that would be perfect. So if we put you like here. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. Okay, good. Right, let's let's get the game unpaused. We'll let them wander over there and start getting that built up. Okay. So now we've got them doing this. Let's just open you up here. We'll just put it on time speed. Times five speed while we plan this here. Wow, it is raining. Let me just turn down the rain. Ooh, <laughs> that's really loud, isn't it? There we go. That should be a little bit better. Right, so now what I'm thinking is going to be a good idea. We need to kind of plan our village. Now that I know we're going to try and move down this way so we can get fishing up, we may even start to use this area here. Okay, right, let's plan this. So we do like almost a mini town centre around there somewhere. Let's get some storage up. Oh, we're also going to want to, should I say, knock down some, some of the surrounding area here. So we definitely want, I'm going to go like that. Hopefully we've got some iron in there. Straight away our workers will go off and do that. That's good. They'll already be clearing the area, but we've got no storage. The so storage is going to be important. So let's get some storage areas down. Look at these, like all these different types. I love this. So I'm going to like just store them on the outside here. It's going to give us, I don't want firewood yet. 
we will get a firewood stockpile, but we can make that look a little bit better. And an iron stockpile like so. Lovely. Good. There we go. That's going to be awesome. So we've now got somewhere to store it so we can get everything up. That seems a bit a bit big, but we can reduce it like that. It's fine. Okay. So they've gone straight in with the stone and the trees. They're pretty quickly here. It's going to be good. Okay. Now I'm going to hold off and get the houses because what we need to do, we need to get, I say, hold off and get the houses. We're going to need to get everybody sorted before winter so let's get this these work areas are going to be really important that's why i want to get people there we do have a little bit of storage here as well and we will store stone nut logs in there as well that is good to know flax we will pick that up something that's going to be wise for us to do too that i've just thought about is it's probably going to be a good idea for us to get some wild foods gathered as food's going to be pretty scarce for us there we go look so if we could just grab some of that and get it into storage we do have what's that Ten thousand food stored so it's going to come in handy and I do want to, hopefully we'll see them build in here. But I'm, I'm not sure how much food these are going to kick out. So we might be quite tight on food for a while. There's a the first place here. That's the small forest food gatherer. Okay. We can get an idea here when we click on them. Okay, right. So food limit 5,000. Let's keep 5,000. So I'm going to put one person on you straight away. Good. And what have we got there? We've got no, the other one. The one with the question mark on it, please. Ah, the hunter. Oh, that can only have one as well. But I think we can up it so the more of them can work out of it. Uh, you don't have to make the forest, the village forester yet. So I'm going to, we'll pause you. We'll leave that there. That is fine. Okay, right. So now let's figure out, I think I'm going to do like a little work area here, I reckon. Let's get some houses in from first. Let's, I would, no. Okay. Do we want to go like tiny shacks? Tall shack, that's up to three people. However, the family of this size can move in. How do you look? So these might do as good at the moment as they'll be good for resources. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put these hold three people. We've got 13 people. So if we do six, that gives us a little bit of room to expand. And they're not super ex ex like heavy on resources. And then once we got them a house set or two, we can then plan the next stage and get them all set up and live in the dream, you know? That's what we're going to say. So how are we doing for resources at the moment? We've got some firewood stored. We are going to need to. I want to get these houses up, and then we'll start getting the next, the next, I guess, most beneficial areas for us. Um, professions. Yeah, we're still looking pretty good, actually. There's a lot of professions that we're going to have to do here. We could up the gatherer, but I'm okay. We're okay for the moment. I think we should be able to get through our first winter. Yeah, that's 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 going up quite nicely there, which is good. That should definitely help us here, which which we can we can have a look at as well, which should be great. Okay, we are chopping down these forests like nobody's business. This is going to be good. Our builders are working wet. <laughs> Hopefully, we're starting to get some resources in here, which we are good. Okay, so stone we need. Do we have some more stone scheduled to be chopped? Let's add some to the list just to make sure. Collect all my stool or stones. In the, I, know, I just want iron stones. There we go. Oh, got some more stone scheduled to be, to be chopped down. They're getting foods, it looks like, so we probably had used everything that we needed to use there. That's fine. We will chop a little bit more of this. What are you? Look at that. Are you food? That must be something else. Okay, we'll have to figure out what that is. Like I said, I haven't played with, I haven't used every all the mods in here, so it's going to be quite a bit of a learning experience. Which, to be honest, I am gonna. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that already. Okay, these houses are going down at nobody's at quick business. So it's three people move straight into that. So I'm not going to have the biggest families. I'm hoping they they all fit into these houses. If they don't, we can just stuck some more down. But I think for starter houses, they're going to be fine. So that is good. So now that we've got the resources for these, at what speed are we going at? Here? Five, right. Okay, so we are in early autumn. This is good. So let's start thinking about productivity. Like, we're going to need to get in... Is that the right one? I don't think it is. Nope. I think you are in... In here. We are going to need to start chopping wood. We're going to need to get firewood down. If we can, like, You're quite big. We don't need, like, massive area. Do we just want to... I'm thinking we could set up, like, a bit of an open workyard here, maybe. It doesn't need to be massive. Like, you'll be perfect. Okay, good. Well, then, we know we've got logs here. So let's plan this in there a little bit. Let's put you here. You're going to come in handy. Has everyone got a house? You can already see people are getting cold. This is why we are rushing. It's only autumn. As long as we don't lose anybody, then we're fine. <laughs> Has everybody got a house? 
Still a few. I haven't got a house. Okay, good. Well, the houses are going up pretty quickly. Hopefully, yes, everyone's got a house. Nice. And we've got room to grow. Okay, so they're going to come over here and they're next going to do the Celtic chopper, which would be good. So we can get that done shortly and get that set up. That will help. Somewhat help us, I reckon. Okay, right. So then storage for it, isn't it? Um, we want to get ourselves some firewood, which is you. So we know the Celtic chop is here. Like, we don't need a massive area. I think, like, an area like this would be perfect. And then we could plant some of the old roadage now, I reckon. I remember where roads are. Oh, lots of options. Community toolbar. Nope. Theme sets. Life for water. If I, I'll have to fight. Well, oh, there's food processing and things that we need to do as well. Aha, roads. Okay. Dirt road at the moment. And what we... Oh, we can't put you across... Oh, okay. Then we'll run the dirt road there. And we'll run it across. Does it quite fit? So we can take another one. We can make it almost like a square. That should be fine. And just run you through it. Okay, right. So it's finished. Let's get ourselves a wood chopper in here. Hopefully that one wood chopper is going to be enough to keep our town pretty happy. Got a little bit of a road going through, so they should be able to access pretty quickly. Let's just get you a bit of a road there as well. Okay, nice. Good. We could road out to these. Good indeed. We are going to need wood. We've got. But a little bit of wood. So what I am going to do then, we can grab this chap here, is I'm going to turn this back on to be built. The village forest, which come in handy. So now we need to think about tools and things. It's going to be quite important for us. So, <laughs> yeah, this is where it starts to get complicated, okay? Right, so we're gonna, if we want to do the blacksmith, let's go for tools first. We're going to need a forge to actually turn the iron ore into so that we can use, which is going to be... So we, we don't need anything big for that. How big are you? You're, you're quite big. You're huge. What's the difference here? You do look pretty cool, but we are not doing the best on resources. Blacksmith, what are you? I'm just seeing if there are any other boundary. Oh, huge. Okay. Then we'll just go small like this chap here, and we can put you in there. Yeah? Yes. Okay, I'm happy with that. I did want to road along there. Now, so you're going to make the iron into iron ore, if I remember rightly. So then we're going to want a blacksmith. Now, can we get, like, one that fits kind of the small theme that I'm going for here? I think you might fit quite nicely on there. Oh, actually, you'll enable us to go like that. Yeah, perfect. Good. We've got a nice little area for us to work in. Now, people are still cold. I guess they don't have any firewood yet, do they? No, they don't. But we are making firewood, so hopefully we're not going to lose anyone. We haven't. We've had loads of children born as well. Okay, interesting. Right, so we've got tools up and running. We should now think about clothing. <laughs> this is going to be... So we're going to need to do, if I remember right, we're going to need some leather tanning so that we can make cured leather, which will help make cured leather from water and salt. Okay. Uses salt. We need to get salt then maybe to make these things. No. No. No, that's not what I'm looking for then. What am I looking for? Weaving? Wait. Let's figure this out here. Because we definitely did workshops. Is it a workshop I was looking for then? Maybe. Workshops were needed, that's for sure. We do need to make clothes, and that's what I'm trying to figure out at the moment. Clothes are going to be super important, and so are tools. The quicker we can get them up, the better. That's what I'm saying. Crafting, industrial fuel, fuel production. It's definitely going to be in here. Maybe we need to get salt and things. We may have to try and... Other makers. Yeah. Let's, uh, look, we'll come back to you. Let's get a workshop in. Workshops are going to come in handy, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, a mini workshop used to create tools and clothes. Oh, tools, tiny workshop, perfect, good. And we're going to have a nice little crafting area in here. I'm really liking these buildings. They're going to be good. Okay. The tools we now should have been made. You are going to make iron ore with... Yeah, so you make iron, awesome. Iron ore plus charcoal one. What? Where do we get charcoal from? Let's, we should be using firewood for that because I'm just not sure if we're going to get it. Already it looks like we may need to get... Oh, it's saying that. It is winter, isn't it? We may need to get somebody else to help with... What are you making? You're making iron tools. That's fine. Okay, good. Let's close you down. I'm thinking we need to get someone else to help, help with the wood chopping is what I was getting at there. But I think let's see how we get through the summer. So this will make... Yeah, we need to make leather or flax. Okay. Iron tools. <laughs> oh, the challenge is beginning. We can get some wooden tools, stone tools made as well. And I'm going to have some stone tools being made 
alongside it. I really want this guy to make cloth. So we we don't need to worry about housing you then. We probably rushed up. Wait, what have we got in here? So we've got salt pork, oats. We've got a little bit of flax. So I wonder where we're getting this flax from. Where did everything go? <laughs> everything just got taken. Okay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of flax. We've got four hide coats. Where can we make hide coats? That's what I'm concerned about here. What's this? Leather works. Leather produces saddles. Yeah, no. You will make... I think we do need to get ourselves a tannery. I thought there was like a little one that we could build, but these are huge. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's it's in a different section of this mod. It's not over here. There's so many bits to this. It's going to It's gonna be insane. It's going to be awesome. I'm already excited about it. I, I, Construction? We're nowhere near that yet. So I am leaning towards clothing makers. If we just went for a tailor, does that give us the vanilla options? It may well do. But you're massive. And I don't want to go huge. Old tailor. Yeah, we will put you in, like here. And we've got a bit of a bit of an area coming up now. Okay, good. Right. So we need to think about food. Food is something that's gonna that's gonna be quite important to us. How are we doing for spare people? Okay, good. We could probably drop down to one builder now, I would say. That's gonna come in reasonable hand. We could get another melter if we want to. I don't think we do. Okay, so wood is gonna be something that we're gonna to need to keep an eye on regularly. How are we doing for that? We get some of this queued up now. We've got 170 store logs, a little bit of stone, a little bit of minerals and ores. Okay. How are you doing for iron? You got one log, you are coming through. You, you're smelting at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, all okay, right, that's fine. I'm going to up our stored, I'm just thinking here, up the stored firewood, I'm going to make you like 1,000. That's going to be that's going to be necessary, I think, in the future. Houses are looking good. Right, so food is where, where we're now at. I don't think, do we have any seeds? I don't think we do have any seeds, do we? Flowers, honey, leather, onions. No, but we, but we have got some food in there, herbs. I'd cope. Okay, right. Back to food. We're not going to be able to do any... Oh, yeah. I remember now. We're not going to be able to get any of the farms going up because we don't have any seeds. I don't think we have learned any. So it's not really going to be an option for us early on. We're going to have to survive a little bit more by getting a fishery set up. But that is such a long way to walk for someone to come and fish. Okay. Something we can do then is we could set up a, a, like a, a forest pond. If we're going to do that, though, I feel like it should be in this area here. Now, it's a little bit cheaty because it doesn't cost us anything to set up. We could set up like a waterside fishing area then, maybe. I, I don't, I felt like that was a bit too cheaty. Yeah, okay. So someone would just wander over here and then we're not like putting a building onto it. Put one there. I'm going to put two down. There we go. Cool. We'll have to remember they're here, though. So we're going to need to make fishing gear now. Oh, rats. Okay. Um, where can we make fishing gear? Can we make fishing gear with you? No. Okay. You? You won't make fishing gear either. Okay, good. You can make a hide coat with leather. Yeah. Then enclose with flax. Okay, that work. That's not going to give us a lot of, like, a winter protection, is it? But at least we can get some linen clothes, nonetheless. At least we've got clothes, so it's going to make them feel a little bit happier with life. I was just looking to see if we had any down or anything in there. We haven't. Okay, that's fine. Food is 900. Okay. We're going to get those fishes set up. Right, I got distracted. I wanted to see how we make the fishing rods, which is going to be in the in here somewhere, I reckon. Let's have a look at what people are up to while we're doing this. Fishing rods, weapon maker, no. Oldsmith, no, I want a tool. It's going to be a tool maker, right? A forge, iron smelter. That's cool. Um, get distracted now. We've got crusty, no. Workshops. So we put in a small workshop, fishing and hunting gear. That's what we want. Oh, okay. That, that is a small workshop. But you would fit in perfectly. Like, I can put you in. Oh, that would be perfect. Dud. Good. Right. Let's see what you'll produce then. And then we don't have a. Tiny workshop for tools and clothes. Used to create new tools and clothes. Village workshop. Okay, we've got plenty in there. Luxuries productions. Yeah, we're a long way from that, aren't we? <laughs> Living the dream when we think we're getting that done. How are we doing in here? Okay, you're built. Okay, nice. So let's have you go. You can make us fishing gear. Wait, do we need hunting gear for, the, for our hunting lodge? You need hunting gear? No, you don't. Okay, good. Oof, panic over. It's not too bad. Will you? You'll make linen clothes from flax and things. Okay. Let's have somebody on you anyway, because I think they'll just turn into a labour when they're done. How are we doing for more people? 
We've got four me four people spare. Okay. Resources. Let's get ourselves some more some like a big another area to be to be chopped down. And I think like it's gonna make sense just to get rid of this. That's fine there. See, we're not stocking stockpiling a load of things. There's a way to tell it not to store things in there, maybe. We'll have to see. How are we doing for storage of the firewood? We've got 55. That's good actually. We're starting to produce. We can see we've got iron ingots coming in. So that means you're gonna be making tools, so we're not gonna run out of tools. That is good. That was something I was concerned about. Right, then let's get ourselves a nice little path down that, like that. Nice. Let's just leave you like this. That'd be good. So we should be making fishing tools now. So hopefully we will have somebody fishing over here at some stage. Um, you're a pig. That's not what we want. I can't remember where we put it down. Hopefully those two fishing spots may get used. Do we need to assign a fisherman to him? That is also possible as well. I'm already liking this. Fisherman, I don't see so. We have, okay, let's get a forester assigned. I'm going to up the gatherers as well. How are we doing for spare people? We've got two spare people. Okay, that's good. We're going to need to possibly expand the housing soon as well. Do I, we kind of, we are, can we upgrade these? To a tiny house at Red Town House provides housing for four residents. Okay, we can. That's going to be good actually, because that will give us a way to just progress through these. All right, so like Maverick Homes. DC homes, tiny house, yeah, log cabin, mini house, tiny shack. Okay, let's get some more. Let's build another couple of these just in case we get some people, some babies, some children's born, and then we've got somewhere to put them. It's going to be awesome. I'm liking that. You're unhappy because, yeah, we probably don't need you. I could probably rip you down. Let's keep you there anyway because we may want to have it. Eventually, we probably will want to have this building running regardless, I reckon that. We've got fishing being made. How's the food doing? We're up to 1,200 food. Food is looking good, actually. That's good. That's my concern at the moment, just to get food, water. We've got some herbs. We've got some textiles we're going to need to deal with. I was hoping I could see somebody fishing. That's why I've come over here. <laughs> oh, there it is. So, yeah, it's going to be coming along. So we get fishing again. You see, this. Is the, I'm already I'm liking the complexity that I've set myself up here for, for this. We're going to have to... Possibly going to need like a bigger chopping area, I think. We're already in autumn, so people are already taking the, the chewing through the logs here. I'm just check, trying to check the amounts. Look, yeah, we're definitely going to need a second one. We stayed at 50. Maybe we're okay. Maybe what we need actually is trees. We've got 140 logs. Okay, possibly. Let's. We did schedule a big area to be cut down, didn't we? Yeah, we don't have a lot of people to do that. Oh, are you going to be our first fisher person? Could well be. Looks like it. Okay, so that should mean then that we have fishing available in here. What I'm hoping, fishing, no. Oh, then we need the builders to come over and build the fishing spot. Okay, that's good. Oh, <laughs> I like that. So we can put one person on this. I don't, I've got no idea like how much this is gonna put, produce a day. So it'd be interesting to see how that does. Hopefully gives us a reasonable amount. Right, let's up the speed here and see how we do it. Minimize you. We need some children to grow up. So we currently just got one builder, one laborer. We're going to struggle here. You, we need to, ideally, we can take you off making fishing tools now. I want to put you on some gathering baskets. Okay. We need to make leather, don't we? we? We don't have leather. What do we have? We have, oh, we do have leather. Wait, what am I on about then? You can make hide coats. Okay. You don't need to make hide coats. You can stay on the, the fishing gear. Tool limit. Crafted limit. We just turn you off? Yeah. I don't think we need anyone in here. We can just turn you off. We Hunting gear, maybe... I don't think we're using anything that requires that. What requires hunting gear, then? That could be quite cool to try and... We're going to have to expand. So if we, we figure out what wants it, then we can prepare for it. What's that? Use divine air for hunting wild game. Oh! So this could be an idea down here as well. I mean, for the moment, maybe? Definitely an idea. We're going to have to figure out exactly where we're going to want things as well. It's going to be quite cool. As well. Look at that. There's the fish. That's four fish. Okay. We've got 1,600 food, so I don't think we're going to run out that very quickly. Um, we've got iron being smelted, so we've got tools being made. We've got 48 tools. Yeah, we're looking good. We've got some clothes being made. So, And we've got like our initial setup here. We're going to have to like expand and increase as we go, but you know we're up to 13 adults now. Do we have more available for jobs okay we've got two laborers that's not too bad i'm a magician 
<laughs> oh, yes, we do. We do have those in there. So we 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 are definitely making a bit of progress here, which I I, I thought we were going to be in Struggle Street pretty quickly. So I want to expand our logger. So a two by two chart. That's what we put in there. What are you? You look a bit better. That's going to possibly give us a better return, I reckon. Okay, let's get this village woodyard because I think we can get two people to work in that. Which, yeah, that would be much benefit, more beneficial. And then we can rip this chap down. And yeah, you know, I think that's we could probably end up doing that a little bit at the start. It's building up, crushing them down. They look very uniform, don't they? So we've got this area here running nicely. But I do want to try and get by the docks somehow. I do. That's on the list. <laughs> We're into spring though. So we're gonna have to we need to get trading post up pretty quickly, actually. That's a good point there. And then think about what we're gonna trade, because we kind of need to get some seeds. So how do we get a trading post up? This is gonna have to be a long-term goal. A trader, which is here. Oh, all of records. That's trading, is it not? More town buildings. No, no, no. How do we trade? Schools. Courthouse, global theatre, barber shop. Yeah, these are courthouses. Okay. I thought trading was in here. Town halls. No. Nomad. A well that attracts nomads. Okay, sign for nomads. That's interesting. Oh, we do want a well. Uh, we do want a well. I kind of like in this Celtic wells that we're getting in here. Uh, we can put you on the corner there. Perfect. Oh, you rotated. That's nice. Um, Trader. Theme sets. You're in here somewhere. Workship. Schools. We want a school later. Herbalists. I thought try no, okay. Dentist, stone. Okay, okay. I've got to find it. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. It has to be right. Uh, not on roads, storage markets, trade. There we go. Okay. Trading buildings. So what is that? You are huge, and you want to be on the water. We, I don't want to submit so big a general trade port. Something not so. Aha. Perfect. Right. E E I trade book, a small trade dock, villa trade items, twenty thousand capacity, three F variants. Okay, exactly what we want. So if we can get you, does it need to be near the water or what? Vanilla trade dock. I does want to be near the water, right? Because that's what I'm thinking is we can have a little fishing area. Oh look at that! <laughs> I like it. Okay, good. Can we just put you. Are we? Gonna... Are they going to come here though? They must be. They're going to right. There we are. Which you need to be built there. You don't require anything special, just logs. Okay, good. That'll be handy for us. Food. We're doing quite good on. We're in late summer. Just got to keep monitoring that for us at the moment. Right, then. So I, how are we doing? We're going to have to keep chopping trees down. We're going to need... I'm going to schedule some more trees to be chopped down. We're doing okay on other things. Right, then. I'm going to take this whole area here. We've only got one chap on it, I think. Oh, we've got two labourers on it. Okay, good. We're doing okay for housing. So I, what do we need to upgrade these then? It's just, okay. Are the houses all occupied? You're on your own. You're occupied. Okay. Well, we could start. I, what I'm thinking now is we leave this area here, be up and running, and then we can look at moving over to this area here and starting to, once we get the docks up, we're in a position to possibly trade if we ever find ourselves that a trader wants to come see us. But the sooner the better with that, as we need to be able to get fields and things up. And then we can definitely have like a field route along here. As for the main cities, like I, I yeah, possibly near this, over this area, it gives, affords us the way to like span loads of bridges and, and, and do things a bit over the top, doesn't it? That's what I like to think. We could also flatten this area and have, we definitely have something here, but I think that's all going to come in the next episode, guys. Oh, look at this. We've got you up and running. So let's pour two into that. This building here, I'm going to rip down. And uh, we don't need it anymore. There we go. No more. And this should then, hopefully, with two people on it, allow us to make logs a little bit quicker, which means everybody should be happy. So that's going to be good. So in the next episode, we need to figure our trade building constructed and figure out what they want. Oh, there we are. It's not far off. So if you enjoyed the episode, as always, please hit that thumbs up button, comment below, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys, take care. Ciao.